All right, I'm back with some more Bandit Larry. And last time we finished off finally setting up our criminal enterprise. It took us a while, but when we also spent 20000 on a gambling den, and the it's going to be a while before we earn our money back. <laughs> it is going to be a while. But now that we have this criminal enterprise set up and all ready to go, it basically means we're just back to the renown grind. Bit of crimes on the side. Bit of renown. We need to, uh, we need to expand the clan, you know? So while we were chilling and, uh, skipping time, we've actually got a way bigger profit. Um, well, I say way bigger, it's a couple hundred more. <laughs> But we also have one upgrade. I think we'll also start smuggling on the side because that's what we like to see. That's a 2k profit because we already have a partnership. Okay, so now we need to get Renown. That's all we need for this to go well. We still need 59 Renown. 59. There's a hideout here we can clear out for a bit of Renown. You can see how well that goes. Oh, 45 troops to recruit from. Hang on a minute. Well, don't mind if we do. And now we attack them. <laughs> All right, we're sending the lads in. They're a bit quicker than me. We are using forest bandits, so this is just going to be an entire ranged fight, I think. <laughs> but that's one. But that's two. Oh god, we got like four lads up ahead. That's it, lads. Gonna wait. Gonna wait. But I'll chop this one in half. Swipe. Oh no. That was a close one. <laughs> Almost ended up throwing a javelin straight into one of our lads. All right, buddy. This one, uh, this one's between me and you. Should we get this guy a stool or something to stand on? He's a, a tad short. He was a little fella. But he's dead. So, I guess we're done. <laughs> For Renown, I mean, it's more than a tournament. It is more than a tournament. As we earn gear from fights, we're going to have to cycle through each one of these companions one by one. And just trying to give them, like, anything we can. Because... They have nothing. <laughs> We're also going to need to look at what weapon they use. Because I think we should proper, like, actually equip them with what they're good at. Like, for example, this dude. This dude should be using a one-handed shield. That's fine. This dude should also be using a one-handed shield. But we should also give her a crossbow. Um, And this, this dude should have... So this dude's one-handed javelin. And on foot. This one is a crossbow one-handed and probably on foot. And Garvey should be a one-handed or, t well, two-handed actually. What am I about one-handed? That was the lowest of the three. He should be a two-handed on foot. Okay. So, one-handed crossbow, one-handed throw-in, two-handed, and they should all be on foot. But we should probably build them based on their stats. Maybe that'll make them a bit more useful. But we are now the new owner of this lovely hideout. Speaking of building people to how they should be, we should probably take the mule off of uh, off of Garvey. We we had our fun. <laughs> now we need to actually make the dude useful. Gonna 
Gonna do a quick grand heist on the side. You know how it is, lads. We uh, we could do with the 12 grand. We are paying a little bit more these days. Our mercenary contract is actually costing us money. I wonder if that is because we're not killing our enemies, maybe? Not too sure what that's about. Alright, lads. We got this. Come on. Teamwork on three. One, two, three. Teamwork. No. Okay. Guess it's just me. Come on, lads. Beat up the guards. And now we run. <laughs> did that dude just say, look at them run? How did he know we were running? I say that, I mean, I he was alive. He probably just watched us run. Alright. To celebrate a good victory and the income that we just earned. We're, uh, we're going to dabble in a little bit of our good fortune. Hey, we got a crossbow. We don't have the bolts for it, though. But actually, if we go back to trade, how much are crossbow bolts these days? Uh, We can probably... Ah, they're only 85. That is fine. Uh, you, you were a crossbow. Well, you aren't a crossbow. You use a crossbow. Unless you identify as a crossbow. Then I guess you are a crossbow. I just stopped to do that for a bit of money. We're going to continue our journey to the hideout. And we're probably going to take this one by force. So we got like a bit of a triangle of safety dens going on. Anything within this triangle, I will probably just kill. Uh, we won't need any more than these three hideouts, I don't think. Wonder if there's anybody in the cave. Who knows? Who knows? Hello? And anybody home? Don't think there's anyone home. I did not fight a single guy this entire time. I guess our only fight is going to be with the captain. And don't worry, lads. I got this one. Oh, you should have gone with the one-handed shield, my friend. You should have gone with the one-handed shield. That's only two renowned. There wasn't many sea raiders here. So that that wasn't too great to be honest. We're gonna have to start doing crimes in this town as well, I think, and start building our relation up here. Because if we can get another partnership, um, that is a load more money. Our mercenary contract is costing us more and more as the days go on. Are we supposed to end it? Is that what you're supposed to do because we're not at war with anyone? Or is it because we're not fulfilling the contract? Is that how this works? We haven't attacked any looters recently or anything. So as far as they're concerned, we're not holding up our end of the bargain, maybe? 29 looters. That might give us a bit of renown. Tell you what, I'm just going to tell everyone to charge. They're just looters. Let's not hang around, lads. Let's get this over and done with. Alright, jab. That's one. Oh. That's two. Oh no, we missed that one. We missed that one. We hit that one. Just gonna have a clean up sesh, you know. You know how it is, lads. Oh god. We'll cut that one out the edit. That one doesn't need to be there. We're gonna kill every single one, lads. I'm sorry. No! Damn you! No! One guy got away. 
I'm thinking maybe becoming mercenary for the English again if they're at war. And trying to pick off easy targets from the Templars through raids and stuff. And maybe we can earn renown that way. Alright, we've signed a new contract with the English for the time being. This is purely to see if we can uh, profit from raiding villages maybe. We aren't here to help the English or fight the Templars. I am purely here for financial gain. And to see villages burn. That is my sole purpose in this world. Bandit Larry's purpose is to see the world crumble. <laughs> Whether it is by his hand or someone else's, the world must fall. Uh, take a hostile action. Let's uh, pull off the old raid. Of course we picked the wheat farm. Because that's where the money's at, lads. The wheat farm. <laughs> oh god, it's dead here. We've still we've stolen about ten gold and a ton of grain. Oh actually we nicked a pig. <laughs> Who thought about nicking the pig? <laughs> you find this village, you burn it to the ground, you loot it for all its value, right? You know you got a limited amount of capacity to leave it. Who eyes up the pig in the sty and goes, I want that. That hoggy boy by there. I want him. <laughs> what we did to that village, it's wrong. I am the leader here, mate. I decide what we do. I'm sorry, but Larry's lepers is a dictatorship. <laughs> Some enemy caravans here. If we can try and pin them and catch them, they're really fast, though. Oh. If I can pin him down here... Maybe we can get more renown from caravans. Come on. Using the arrow keys, funnel the boy in. Come on. Have we got we got him. Okay, it's gonna be tricky because caravans are actually a bit OP. But I feel like me and the lads can do it. Hand over your goods or die. Oh god. It's going to be over our dead bodies. So be it. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh no. What have we done? What have we done, lads? Oh. oh man, they're doing drive-bys. They're doing drive-bys. Shit. Right, come on. Come on. Ugh. Just hold, lads. Form up the line. Form up the line. Oh no. We're doing the best that we can, lads. Shit, they have a lot of ranged. That's it, Garvey, get a kill, my friend. Ah, shit. Still got a good few javelins left. That's all my javelins gone. Come on, lads. Clean up. Who's this dude? I'm gonna get an axe to the face. Boom. I'm hoping, because it was like 50 of them, and they're actually decent troops. I'm hoping the Renown is gonna be really good. Yes, 12 Renown. That is what we've been needing. <laughs> We did lose eight men. We are expected to lose a lot more men in fights like this. Oh, can't retreat the enemies nearby. Okay. Um, I can solve this problem. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Oh, whoops.
Gotta get rid of the enemy. It's just this dude. It's just this dude. Come on. Yep. Let's kill him. And smack. Oh, hold up. There we go. Did six damage with that last day. I just bonked him on the head with the handle. <laughs> right. But 12.6 renown is exactly what we have been needing. I am going to have to find replacements now, though. I think we lost too much men to do another one. All right. So we're going to need... We're going to need to... Pay a visit to one of my hideouts, I think. And we're going to have to see if we can stock up on some more lads. Um, but that Renown hit that we took from that caravan, that Renown was great. <laughs> we're only 31 away now. Um, it was the equivalent of doing four tournaments. I suppose it's a question of, by the time we recruit and find another one, is that the same amount of time it would have took me to do four tournaments? I don't know. But we could recruit 15 units for 8 villainy points. Is that a bad deal? Uh, that's not too bad of a deal, I think. Right, so we're back up to 47 men. Um, What will we do? You know what? Reveal our good for... Well, actually, we'll ransom off the prisoners. For a cash. We'll see how our criminal business is doing. Well, we, we got 4 upgrades, which is pretty good. The money... The money's dropped a bit. Because of the corruption, the money has dropped a bit. Um, we'll take back one of our areas. We're going to have to get some villainy points, I think. I put all four of these upgrades into smugglers. Just so we... That's done now. We've maxed out our smugglers. And that is our... We just, we just need to build these upgrade points, really. Just start spending them around. That's not doing too bad. It's a little bit of money on the side. It's not really sustainable income at the moment because we're spending... We're spending 200 a day, assuming a week in this game is also 7 days. Well, actually, that would pay our week's wages. Maybe it is sustainable. <laughs> Next time we're going to get that renown. And I think we could, if we're still at war with the Templars, lurk around for caravans again. We got a bit lucky where we were and pincered him in in that little corner. Um, so maybe we can finish off the rest of the Renown. And then I should go up to about 70 bandits at least. And with 70 bandits, we could even start trying to pick off minor lords and stuff and start selling them for ransom. But yeah, I think that is the plan going forward. We need to get that Renown up just so we can go up to about 70 men at least. But it's going well. We have a bit of, bit of cash in the bank, you know. Um, it is 30k to buy the um, body house. Um, I don't want to do it just yet because I don't want to go down to 5k. <laughs> but if we save up a little bit of money, we can buy that and see what that does. It's just going to give us income, but it might be decent income. But yeah, we're going to have to bump those up as well. Ah, oh, man. A lot of grinding, I think. A lot of grinding. But that's going to be it for this part of Bandit Larry. As always, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.